Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gun Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Maelstrom, who is in his level 4 Gundam Picti, I believe. Yep, I see a gun cannon detector and a G4 and a Rick DS with him. Yeah, it's gotta be uh gotta be the uh level four pixie. And the level four pixie is pretty good. It's uh I believe it's dropped in rarity compared to the lower levels. I think it's a two star now, so you'll have an easier your time of getting it. And it's, yeah, still very strong, has good uh, beam daggers, has uh, good uh, access to good weapons, and still has stealth. So, and there is, oh, looks like he might have been sighted by the Nemo uh, 3, we'll find out. He's hiding around a corner, waiting to see. See, they don't seem to be no watching him, so all becomes a quest. Okay, now they're watching for him. Maybe a little bit. No. Well, time to move in, and boom. Yep. And good use of force injectors there to reposition. And there's the Nemo, which I wouldn't have uh, come in on that pixie in a sport. Okay, yeah, the Nemo has just a poke with it uh, for its uh, forward uh, thrust. And man, you didn't even, barely even saw him interrupt his boost to attack there. That was impressive. And that's a kill. And that Nemo is probably going to be a kill. Yep. And got it. Very nice. So that's two already. And now he can go support the team because there's a couple of very weak targets there he can hopefully take down. And that looks like it was a Zeta Plus. Somebody else got it, but he's got... He's going to come up behind them. That makes sense because they are retreating as fast as they can. They're going to retreat in that direction, though. And really good boost management here as uh, well. He has not really run out of boost very much. So, and he's gotten three kills on 1,200 health, so that is not bad. I think there's people, yeah, number four is also low on health here, so good time to sit down and repair. Uh, except here comes support fire. Well, there is a way around that, as you know. If you time it right, you can avoid support fire if it's on you. Or if you want, you can just, you know, go through it, and if you get killed, you respawn. One of the two but I like to try and get through it just because I can. But yeah, with the... Uh, I'm... I should say... That I just... This is one of those things I should just mention more often because uh, it's something I forget to say and newer players uh, can benefit from knowing it. Uh, the base will repair you automatically. So if you get close enough to it, you will sit... You will repair... Your mobile suit will repair. It will also... It also stacks with your repair tool. Which, once upon a time, I don't know if it still does, I don't believe so. Once upon a time, the repair tool would do more uh, more healing if you crouched. Because your pilot does get a slight attack bonus, just like your mobile suit does when crouching. But, yeah, he has run rings around this Rick Diaz. And, yep, just going to switch to machine gun because he'd overheat his boost if he uh, uh, ran in. And he got it with a good shot. And, let's see, it tackled him, but he didn't get countered, that's good and just boosted aside and tackled and got it down and he should be able to finish it from there. If not, very close. Yep, very close. Now he just has to wait for it to make a move and it's dead. Okay, it's moving in with uh, with Beam Saber. He, ta he missed his tackle, but again, not going to matter much. Nope, it, it avoided, but it's also out of feet, so he's got the advantage. It also just used its dodge roll, so... Okay, traded deaths, so... Ah! Not bad. Nice uh, nice dramatic ending to that very first life that he's taken out, what, three, four people on? Yeah, so good stuff. And, see, four minutes left of the round. They have got a significant advantage, 6,000 to 2,200. Uh, they don't have E, which, man, really impressive to have gotten this far and not have taken E, honestly. But we are, man, but is apparently one of my ticks for the night. That happens. And a couple of good shots. That is the standard G4, as you can tell. It's got the big gun and it's got a shield. So it all, uh, pilot just got away, headed for C. Mail saw it. He's uh, coming around and just waiting. Okay, destroyed the tank so they couldn't use that. And I'm not sure if he got the pilot or someone else did. He's still watching. Yeah, he knows. Yep, he knows. There we go. Pilot's down. Saved the waypoint. The uh, beacon. When you only have one, that's really important to do. 
Looks like the enemy is trying to take E. They might pull it off. Um, and he's going to sneak around and see what he can do. Eh, which is, you know, what a pixie does. Sneaker, sneaks around and sees what it can do. Let's see, if he goes around, somebody's going to see him. Let's see, when, when to move and where to move to. He's going to come around briefly and apparently just meet that uh, G4 head on. So, because they may be able to tell where he is, but unless they are really paying attention, they're not going to know his exact position in time. And out. See, it is getting to be kind of heavy odds here, though, and there's a Mark II on him, which is bad, so yeah. Ah, sometimes uh, sometimes when you go in, you get caught. That's just the, the, the nature of the pixie. And you just get back up and go stab some more people. His... He's definitely taken down more than he's been taken down, and that's, that's of course, the key. So, And his team's still doing really well, still leading by a 2-1 to one margin, which is pretty good. The enemy team has made up some distance, but not uh, not all of it. We'll see how far they get in the last two minutes. Mail has come back here. Did he spot someone? Nope, he just wanted a good... Okay, yeah, he did spot someone and, uh, and needed a good place to be stealthing from. And he's got it. So, moving in. They, he has not been spotted yet. Patiently walking up behind them. And, ah, teammates managed to tag them, but he should be able to get a good shot in. Let's see, he uh, hit them just as the, he hit his teammate just as the Rick Diaz did. Rick Diaz dropped. Rick Diaz is dead. And, yeah, man. When you have enough boost on a pixie, you can do some really impressive maneuvering. And everybody's getting stuck on everybody because it is a tight corner that they are all packed in. And some of these things, especially the Rick DS, are kind of big. And there is a uh, good shot took down Mark II's shield. Managed to interrupt its downswing. I'm not sure I've ever even seen that before. At least not, not with that precision. That was nice. And just 40-some seconds left. They are definitely going to take this one. Let's see, missed on the downswing, one of his teammates exploded and st uh, staggered him, and somebody else took down the G4, I think it is. They still got a 2-1 to one lead, they've got this wrapped up, and if he, uh, there's, I think that's that G4 standing there charging, which they'll have to fight the Rick Diaz to get to it, but maybe not then, actually. Let's see, he decided to just keep an eye on the Rick and uh, come around this way. Something's headed right for him, Mark II. And he managed to tag it just as its uh, iframes dropped. Good stun. Good knockdown. He's probably not going to have time to finish it. But he's going to do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, he is out of boost. Well, he's uh, back to having boost. So, let's see, that uh, Mark II actually had a good bit of timing and nearly got him. But he was saved by the bell. Yeah, that was a really good round and some really good maneuvering there especially. Oh, it has been a while since I uh, saw Mail use his Pixie, and yeah, still great with it. 104,000 damage, very nice. And yeah, Team 1 by a factor of 2 to 1. And let's see the final kill counts and what have you. What we have is 7 to 2. Not bad at all. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! They've been pretty good lately about adding higher levels of older mobile suits. Level 4 Pixie was a couple of months ago, I want to say. Might be as many as 6 by now. And I also just got the level 4 machine gun for the uh, level 4 Jim Cold Districts. And I'm probably going to give that another spin sometime now that I've, uh, now that I've got the gear for it. That should be fun.